Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Thor, issue number five. Oh yes, that's right. Snicked right across the Uru metal. Um, you get to see Phoenix, Phoenix Claws in this one, and it is so sick. Wolverine and Thor, Phoenix Wolverine and King Thor, actually have a true-to-earth, knockdown, drag-out fight. I expect somebody to come out and just be like, you ready? You ready? Get it on! <laughs> that's what I expect to see. So, this is Old Gods. Writer Jason Aaron, guest artist Christian Ward. Hello, Mr. Ward. Letters and production, VCs Joe Sabino. So uh, I love it that they're giving uh, context to the logo. The logo is by Jay, uh, Jay Bowen. They should always do that. And the cover artist, Isak Ribic. Uh, variant covers by James Heron and Dave Stewart. And another one by Emma Lucino and David uh, Jason Keith. I almost said David Keith. Wow, that would be cool if David Keith was an actor and a cover artist. So um, Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, and Larry Lieber are the um, the uh, creators of Thor. So we get to see an older version of Wolverine and Thor having a conversation with each other. By older, I mean in the past. These two are just hanging out in the past, um, just chilling, man. I guess this would even be considered like not present day, but maybe like, I don't know, six years ago, something to that effect. And we get to see a bar fight, not with these two fighting each other, but fighting a bunch of stupid punks. And shame on them, man. Shame on them. We also get to see a conversation between Thor and Wolverine about who created the first beer. Was it Odin, as he said that it was? Or was it Wolverine in the Wolverine Spider-Man crossover? I can't believe that Jason Aaron went and pulled that out of the dusty old bin to, to have a conversation with that. I'm, and, and, and of course, in an issue where we got Wolverine messing with a phoenix. Like, did, it, did the phoenix bullet ricochet and hit him? Um, this was sick. You can tell that Wolverine is definitely possessed in this one because the fight isn't necessary. The fight isn't necessary. But it's 100% on Wolverine. And if you've ever seen the, the, the miniseries Wolverine versus Thor, you know that Thor would wipe the floor with Wolverine. There's That's not even a question, man. Like, that's not even a question. But Wolverine got a cut on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Thor was holding back like nobody's business, dude. Nobody's. So um, go and check out 10 Things About Thor, explained in a minute on Comic Book University. Just saying, just saying. So um, this, was, this was actually a really good battle. Like, this was very fulfilling. Now, there's a first appearance in this, because there's a comment about, oh, he is going to appear on Earth now. He's coming, and he's going to bring his monsters. There are... Excuse me, the old monsters, okay? A bunch of those old school monsters from back in the, the heyday of Marvel before they became uh, a really big deal. The Tales to Astonish books and the Journey into Mystery books. But it's who actually brought the monsters. Okay. It is an interesting version of Doctor Doom. I'm not going to show you this picture because it's going to be very hard to understand it. You actually have to read everything. So it's a first appearance of a new version of Dr. Doom. I'm giving you that. I'm willing to give you that because seeing and reading what he is. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. I am looking forward like crazy to this. So the, the 17th of October is when we get the next issue. And yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this. It's funny. I fell off the book. Donnie Cates told me, don't, don't do it. Get back on the book. Um, and he, and I was wondering, like, did he actually talk directly to Jason Aaron about what's coming up, up in the book? It is very evident that he did from this book, from this issue in and of itself. It is obvious that he did because Jason Aaron gives reference to several things in this book that had happened in the past, that had happened over in the Venom issues. Remember what what um, Donny Cates had been doing with the the God Slayer incidents and All Black. All right, all of that is relevant here. 
This was a really good book. And all I'm saying is, I almost feel like this issue is telling us that, and, and what Donnie Cates said in his interview that he did with me uh, a month ago now, that Jason Aaron and Donny Cates are going to be doing a project together featuring these characters soon. That's what I'm that's that's what I'm deriving out of this. Because holy crap. <laughs> holy crap. And maybe I'm just reading into it too much. And if I am, I'm still good with it. <laughs> because that's like fantasy football, dude. Except with comics. And that makes it way better. Because it's all fantasy. Alright, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.